We were happy once. There was a time when the Mojave felt like a safe haven for the Khans and our people. We were self-sustaining, grew our own food, had families with healthy young boys that would one day carry on the torch of our future. We started to forge our own weapons and train the cubs to one day become warriors for the Khans. Families were happy, fathers were proud. I was finally satisfied with what we had become. We weren't just a tribe anymore. We were a civilization. But for that day, that day will be burnt into the deepest part of my memory until I lay six feet under. Welcome back, Jessup. Didn't think we'd see you again. Yeah. I gotta talk to Papa. I'll see you around. Ah, Jessup. Nice to see you. How goes the raids on the NCR dogs? Good haul. Little resistance as always. But Papa, that's not what I'm here to talk about. What troubles you, Cub? People are talking, saying the NCR is marching towards us as we speak. Could be here any time now, supposedly. But that's not what worries me. The NCR isn't as small as they once were, and apparently they're sending an army towards us, bigger than anything we ever dealt with. I... just thought you should know. Hmm. Sounds like someone has been feeding the wastes with lies. If the NCR was sending an army after us, why would they wait so long? We've pillaged any and all NCR presence in this waste for countless years, and they hardly lifted a finger to stop us. I appreciate you coming to me with your concerns, but I am confident that there is nothing to worry about. Yeah, maybe you're right. I'm sorry if I bothered you. I got a job lined up with some checkered suit prick from Vegas. It's just an escort job, and I should be back in a couple days. I'll bring back the caps when I'm done. So then the doctor replied, Son, that's called your face. <laughs> what the hell? Is that gunfire? Chief, you need to get out of here. It's a war. You goddamn motherfuckers, I'm going to kill all of you! God damn it! I need to get out of here! Take this, you pieces of shit!
They killed men, women, even children. People who have never held a weapon in their hand even once in their lives were slaughtered like pigs. They claim it was a miscommunication, but I don't find that plausible after seeing how many innocents were killed. I swore to my people that they may exact vengeance for the crimes the NCR have committed, and I plan to see that promise through. Even if that means I must give my loyalty to you.